Uh, Dixie Carter, according to the observer had an idea several weeks back to fly a plane over WrestleMania to advertise impact. It was still on as late as the day before the show, but WWE got wind of it and somehow managed to get the company TNA had gone to, to get it stopped. The company had first told TNA they were weather problems, but when TNA investigated further and nodded, all sorts of planes flew over above during the show, TNA felt the company they were working with breached their contract. I love this. TNA also hired vehicles with big screens driving around the citrus bowl and raw saying to watch impact on Thursday and passed out a ton of flyers. The next night they had the truck in the parking lot at the Amway arena and were kicked out of one parking lot and went to another WWE sent staff who told the truck to leave the other lot, but the driver refused. The funny part of all this is how the rules are selective. Kevin Nash was socializing with WWE wrestlers whenever he wanted. And as you can imagine, nobody on either side said anything. He attended WrestleMania with his son in the sky boxes and was backstage on March 27th at the TGF Fridays. There's a wild scene with companies or wrestlers from both companies drinking together. Johnny a showed up and people started behaving better, but even he was having drinks with Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Listen, I know that this is not what a lot of people want to hear, but folks, these WWE wrestlers, they don't sleep under a WWE blanket at night and the AEW ones don't either. They're friends with their colleagues and their colleagues don't always work in the same place they do. It doesn't mean that because you work somewhere else, you can't be friends with them anymore, but the business of let's flyer it. I like it. Let's drive trucks around it. I like it. Let's fly a plane over it. I love it. What do you remember of this? <laughs> oh, and for folks that may be a little bit confused. So this is March, April of 2008. This year, 2008, Russell WrestleMania Flair is there in Orlando. In Orlando. This is the year Flair retires, correct? Yep. Anyway, it was, so Bob Ryder, God rest his soul, he did a number of things for us, but travel was his bread and butter, and he was a travel agent back to the late 80s. But way back, and he, because we dealt with, we would get numbers on how many people were going to be in the park and how many. So Bob knew travel numbers of tourists in and out of Orlando and had metrics, and we could kind of dial into that. And he just, that's part of his business outside of wrestling. Again, he's a travel agent and sold cruises and cruises that would leave out of uh, Cape Canaveral. Anyway, he knew the business. So when we found out, and then as the weeks and months lead up to it, that Manny's coming to Orlando, we were like, okay, there's going to be 70,000 plus. We know wrestling fans. So how many international and everything that went with it. So then we kind of said, this is great. So Spike said, how can we help? Hey, let's go live the Thursday before Mania. All right, what else can we do? We can hire marketing trucks and drive around uh, where the, the WrestleMania stadium and this and that, just all these different kind of things that I was in creative and obviously talent and production. So the marketing side of it, this was Dixie and team and others. But when I heard you're going to fly a plane, I'm like, that is awesome. But how the heck are we going to, how's that actually going to go down? And you, you know, you lay on the beach for years and years down at the redneck Riviera Conrad. And we've seen it a million times tonight. 499 oysters or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> and we're going to see TNA Impact fly over Mania. Um, anyhow, it, it didn't come to be, but it's a lot of fun, a lot of chatter. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of he said, she said on um, our billboards being driven around. And there were certain lots that were WWE, quote unquote, managed lots that the drivers had no way of knowing what is a WWE lot and what is not. And look, it's not just public property. It's a public street that they're driving around, but it was good for newsletter writing. Best of my knowledge is there was a little bit of stink from some security folks that were like, you can't park here, but that it could have been just as well. They told that to 10 other cars that didn't have TNA impact on the side of it as well. I don't know. Made for good bus, but I do remember heading out to the Fridays. That was uh right there by the airport. That was the mania hotel, uh, the Marriott out there and a couple others in that little area, but the Friday's right beside of it. Yep. 
Lots and lots of folks went out there. 